Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, Eating Body Works. Happy anniversary to you. <clears throat> so hello and welcome to Tommy Tries This. We got a special box to sh open today, as you saw. <laughs> anyway, I hope you... At least it's not staining the tea. <laughs> Good gracious. They didn't want to separate. You wouldn't expect them to get into the tea. Anyway, so I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug. I'm actually not sure if my daughter got it for me or my husband's mother or my husband. I don't know. I don't even know how long I've had it. This was probably one of the... Uh, <laughs> One of the cups that was stuck in the 36 or so mugs that were packed away that we found when we were cleaning out the house. And on the front, you can see the tigers. And on the back, it tells you about the Siberian tiger, which is really very cool. In our coffee mug today, to get a move on here, we have the Puka Elderberry and Enchinet. I actually have had this tea before. Unfortunately, that video had to be trashed. Uh, so I'm going to be butchering this name <laughs> yet again. I tried. Enchinesia? Anyway, a rich embrace tingling with fruity warmth. Um, interesting thing about this brand that I just discovered, if I can find it, you know, it might be on the tea bag. No, I'm not finding it. At any rate, uh, apparently the tea bag, the tea bag packaging, the rope, everything is all um, biodegradable and uh, organic. And it has, it has, uh, where are you? Licorice root, ginger root, enchinacea root, and leaf beetroot, aniseed, rosehip, elderflower, peppermint, orange, pe orange peel, elderberry, hibiscus flower, Orange essential oil flavor, natural black currant flavor, um, 30%, 30, 36%, I can talk really, fair wild certified ingredients. They are uh, carbon neutral, sustainable packaging, organic herbs, if you're into that, organic, honestly, it doesn't mean much to me. But anyway, I did try this tea before, but I tried it with one bag and I tried it in a mug that was a bit bigger than this one. So this time we're going with two bags because I don't remember much about it. Um, so we're going with two bags in a slightly smaller mug than before and hoping that I actually get a memorable flavor one way or the other. And we're just going to go ahead and get a sip and get started because we got a big box to go through. smells interesting this is what i noted before i remember noting before is that it has some sort of deep not necessarily spicy but some sort of deep deep undertone in it that's uh, almost savory so let's go ahead getting quite a bit of my sugar but i do think the flavor is better than it was the first time i tried it you guys missed all that i know and i'm sorry But I'm definitely getting more. I'm getting more of a fruity flavor to it than I did before. That's nice. 
that's all I'm getting right now, which is fine, which is fine. And if I have to double bag this one to like it, that's fine by me too. Anyway, so we are running a little bit late for this particular unboxing. As you saw in the intro, it is the Eden Body Works celebrating 16 years, their anniversary box. Somehow my box got lost or something and it got shipped late. So I just got it. I'm three weeks behind everybody else. It's sad. It's sad, but we are going to open it. I do know that one product is missing. They did email me and tell me that the box was on its way, uh, and uh, but it was missing something that they will ship later. I will list everything, including the missing item down below, including links to the companies so you can find them. Alrighty, so let's get this open. I have seen some of it. I've tried not to pay attention, but you know, three weeks. It's kind of hard to miss those spoilers. We have our usual inside, but at this time it says, oh, oh Lord, celebrating 16 years. That usual ladies in there. We've got stuffs, stuffs on top. So, uh, got cards. So I'm going to put some of these aside because they reveal some of the stuff on the inside. And, uh, but Got our card celebrating 16 years of Eden and they're showing their refresher, their marshmallow split end, uh, the hair tonic, I love the hair tonic, uh, the coconut hair pudding and a butter over here. So we're gonna start digging in because there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so the first thing they sent along was a bath puff. Uh, are you the, I don't see a thing on this. I don't imagine you're the baby dress. I'll find out where it came from. But, you know, we find bath puffs everywhere. I get my bath puffs usually at Kroger. But I love these. I love um, using these, once, especially once they loosen up a little bit. So this will be well-loved well and well-used. Appreciate that. I see something pink. I got to go after the pink thing. The pink thing is in a, it's in a pink bag and it's big. Oh, I know what that is. I've been wanting to try one of these too. Let me see. Uh, pretty pink bag all right so come on out come on out this is a big one too so this is <laughs> stuck open says me this is what they call a puff cuff uh, my hair won't sit in that i don't think it might it might but this is a puff cuff and you use it to create you know pull back your hair they do have a card for it puff cuff the only hair clamp for thick curly hair or textured hair no headache no hair damage uh use a discount fly r10 for 10 percent off at your purchase at thepuffcuff.com follow the puff cuff and then it shows you how you can use it i don't know i don't know folks we will give this something of a try. I don't know if it'll hold my hair. We will give it a try. Will you hold my hair? Like I said, my hair is not as thick as some people, so a big cuff like this may be not working. But we're gonna try. I'm gonna try. Let's not collect the earrings, please. This is what I do at night when I do my hair in a pot nipple put it up like this and then I put a invisi bubble around it all right so we have our puff cuff open I'm gonna set it in the back hello yeah you feel like you're gonna be big and you bring it around front and then you clamp the front somehow this is supposed to clamp there we go and I'm not gonna get that big cuff because like I said this thing is a little bigger for my hair We are puffed. Kind of. I don't have a lot of hair. <laughs> I don't have enough hair. It's cute though. I, I used to use um, something similar, almost similar. Uh, it was called a, a French clip and it used to have the little, um, yeah, that attached the two sides of the French clip and I would put that up. This is doing something similar to what that would do to my hair, only looser so it's not pulling on my hair. We'll go ahead and leave our hair up for the rest of the thing. I don't know. I don't like my hair up, but you can see my rogue stripes. Anyway, my rogue stripes that are disappearing. All right, digging back in, we've got a box. 
We've got a box. This is Baby Tress. And this is an edge styler. Ooh. That's for like right around in here. I don't really style my edge as much. I do, um, I do, I have a thing that I use to push them back when I'm putting on my makeup because they like to get into my foundation. Uh, they want to turn colors too. But there we go. It's got this neat lid on it. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, so it has the standard brushy side, although it's in a triangle, and then it has another side that is um, more of the silicone flat stiff type of bristles. That is really kind of neat. Okay, I'm looking forward to trying that. Maybe that'll help keep the hair up better because I still get, yeah, anyway. Um, I believe all of these are black owned. I didn't read this card at the beginning, and I should have. August 2020, Mark, 16 years of Eden Body Works, providing high-quality, nature-inspired products that address real hair concerns and still our passion. We're truly grateful for the support and collaborations that have fueled us over the years. To continue in that spirit, spirit we're so excited to have these amazing female-founded brands join us in our anniversary month. So, yes, all of these are female-created. Uh, all right, so two down and... Quite a few more to go, <laughs> except for the one I'm missing. Alrighty, so let's dig back in. I'm gonna go over here and pick up. Uh, this is the hair tonic. I'm not gonna open it, but I love this stuff. I have actually recently found that this stuff is perfect for me at night. Um, I've mentioned frequently before that my hair uh, tends to dry out quite easily and that is especially true at night I have tried bonnets and things and unfortunately uh, most of them give me a headache when they cross across here sinuses it's a sinus issue it's a storm it's it's a mess anyway so if I, if I have it too loose then because my hair is so slick which is part of the problem with this cup is probably having because I feel it's slipping a little bit my hair is actually really slick um, that's one of the reasons why I think it doesn't tangle as much as, as a lot of people's curly hair, my hair. Right now, if I tried to pull on it, it would seem like it was tangled, but as soon as I get it wet, I can just run my fingers through it. It's very strange. I, I don't know. But at any rate, um, I've been trying a number of different ways to uh, keep my hair from drying out overnight because I can't put it in the bonnet. And... Um, leave-in conditioners and lotions and things like that end up being too heavy. Well, this is perfect. It's a very lightweight spray. It has vitamins and minerals that are good for your hair in it. So I spray that all through my hair and then I put the hairdress, the conditioning hairdress, the hibiscus honey conditioning hairdress, over this and my hair stays um, doesn't dry out overnight, but it's still really light so that I can go ahead and refresh it easily with water in the morning, which is really, really nice. Uh, when I was using the uh, leave-in conditioners and stuff, I couldn't refresh it very easily. It's just too heavy. The curl would f fall out and stay out. And what I mean by fall out, I don't mean I was shedding. I mean my curl would straighten out a bit. So very excited to have this, one of my favorites. The only downside to it is it is high in glycerin. However, since I use it at night, this is not a really big deal. And my second day curls are frizzy no matter what. So not, not mad at it, even though it's high in glycerin. Love it. I just received an order of five of these. I don't mind having another one as a backup. I mean, seriously, I'm, I'm looks like I'm gonna be going through one every week and a half or so. It's crazy. All right, digging back in. What else did you guys send? There's a flat thing back here, this box. Uh, Trust the Journey. This is, it says it's from Be Rooted. Bet you it's like a little uh, um, journal. So let's open this up. Like I said, I've been trying to avoid spoilers and most of the stuff that I have seen have been on the Eden products. So some of the other stuff I haven't really seen and haven't really paid much attention to, which is a good thing because you want to be surprised. But it says, trust the journey. And it is indeed a plain notebook. It is stitched like that. So that's cool. I don't use too many notebooks anymore. I should, honestly, I think I'll put this in my purse for when I get writing ideas. 
I'm trying to get back to that. I really am. I really am. So that trust the journey. That's that's cool. All right. So I'm going to have so much trash. <laughs> All right. Digging in for something else. We got something else. All right. We have. Whoa. This is the Blackbird Bath Nightcap Shea Butter Soap Bar. Now, I don't usually use soap bars. I like the liquid soap, but I'll give it a try. What did you say on the back? Lather with water onto skin or towel. Rinse off. Avoid contact with eyes. Ingredients. Sobitol, sodium, cocoa eight. I, for a minute there, I thought it said chocolate. <laughs> uh, propylene, glycol, sodium, stearate, glycerin, uh, shea seed butter, titanium dioxide, and fragrance. Uh-oh. Fragrance. I wonder how strong the fragrance is. It's kind of floral instead of coconutty, but it doesn't smell like it will be too annoying. So we'll give that a try. Looking forward to giving that one a try. Uh, even though I'm not into bar soaps. All right. The boxes cannot stay, fortunately. Not enough room up here. All right, digging in for something else. And we have a Emanate Essentials Lemon Sorbet Lux Body Scrub. Oh, I haven't tried body scrubs. Lemon, though. Lemon. We all know why I'm about lemon. Are we going to get the lemon reaction? What do you think? That's what it looks like. It's a scrub, so it's kind of stiff. Okay, it's not as strong. It's a very light. <laughs> Doesn't matter, it's lemon. I could sit here and smell it all day. I really want to try that. That's going to be cool. I haven't tried a body scrub. I've never tried a body scrub. I'm, I'm, I'm just granules. <laughs> I just like, I don't want granules all over my body. But anyway, digging back in, finding something else. Got a long, what are you? Makeup by Sparkle Lip Gloss. Wow. Sending me makeup. We have a boy in our Eden group. I wonder what he got, if he got makeup too. It's okay. Boys do wear makeup. I don't think he does. Come on out. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, I know it's a gloss, but look at that color. Let's do this. Open. Let's do this first. Do you have a lot of pigment? You're thick. It has a decent amount of pigment. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this off. And we're gonna try this off. I like it. Uh, it's a little thick, a little bit thick. Um, feels more like a cross between a gloss and uh, a liquid lipstick is because it's got that thickness to it, but it went on nice and smooth. It's got really beautiful color. It actually goes with this look fairly well too. Um, but I like that. That's nice. I'll have to look into that company a little bit more. All right. Digging in for another Eden thing. We have the Hibiscus Honey Shampoo. I, don't, I know I've tried this. I don't remember what my reaction was to it. But we'll try it again because I love the Hibiscus Honey line. Um, I do think most of the shampoos I've tried have been very drying for my hair. So if it's a little bit on the drying side, I'm not even going to worry about it. That's just my hair. And yes, honestly, I think with this puff cup, I would have to put some clips in somewhere to keep it in place. All right, digging into something else. We have the Eden Body Works coconut shea control edge glaze i have not tried this at all this is one of the products of theirs i have not tried um i don't think i've even ever owned it to be honest with you it has that coconut smell but it's very light because it's on the uh, uh their perfumes are on the bottom that feels very creamy even though it's solid And it would feels like, oh goodness, look at that. It has, let me try that again. Do a little bit more so you can see it. Look at that. 
it has a great deal more hold than the one that I normally use. I might have to try that, but I will have to be careful because I need to be able to bring my hair down later. <laughs> I put my hair up and I put the uh, control, the edge control in, and um, but I like my hair to still look kind of natural, so this one has worked for me. But I'm 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 willing to give this one a shot. I'm. I don't know how to do fancy edges, guys. I really don't. It combs in nicely. Look at that. Once you comb it in, it's just holding it in place. That's nice. Okay, I'm really excited about that. Really excited about that. We've got another Eden. This is their curl hydration conditioner to go with the shampoo. Looking forward to those. This line just is a beautiful line. I just think some of the products when I tried them originally weren't good for my hair at the time. It is always good to go back to something that you enjoyed and try it again. Um, if for some reason it didn't work for you the first time, especially with hair, my hair has been changing dramatically. <laughs> Well, yeah. Uh, so I've noticed that some things that used to work for me don't anymore and other things that have worked for me uh, do. Um, so do you have, we have to check, right? We have to check. Okay, so this is the shampoo. Water. Coamadopal uh, betaine. And betaine, I think, is what gets rid of buildup. It can get rid of dimethicone and I don't know about amodimethicone, but it can get rid of dimethicone. Uh, I don't something. Glycerin is kind of high. It's the fourth one, but it still may work for me. We'll see. Uh, the conditioner, water, acetyl, sterile, park shea butter. Cocos, coconut oil, and glycerin. And in that one, it is one, two, three, four, five. It is the six, so it's right about where it's okay for me to use it. Uh, the two of them together might be a problem because that much glycerin. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I've had people tell me that they like my hair fuzzy like that. <laughs> me, I'm like, but there's no curl. It's just, it's just a big poof. <laughs> All right, so next we have their Eden Essentials uh, Citrus Fusion Refresher for Hair and Body. I have tried this as a refresher. It does not work for me as a refresher, but it might work for me as a nighttime thing. Again, although I suspect the glycerin, yeah, the glycerin is number two on this one. I may just give this to a friend, a neighbor, one of my kids, something like that. The glycerin is really high, uh, but, you know... Come to think about it, I think the glycerin is number two on this one, too. Yeah. You know what? We'll give it a try. We'll give it a try as a nighttime moisture-type thing. Invigorate and maintain. Daily moisturizer spray for hair and skin. So we'll try that. If it doesn't work for the hair, well, maybe I'll try it on my skin. I've not tried a skin spray, ever. I've never all right, digging back into the box. Okay, we're over there. We're going to move some of this. There's lots of green stuff in here. Ooh, I see more coconut. So we're going to go ahead and pick this one up. This is the Eden Body Works Natural Pudding Souffle. This one I will give to a neighbor. I love the I love the line. However, I prefer the curling cream to the pudding. The pudding is heavier on my hair. My hair needs stuff that's lighter in weight. This is too heavy, but... If you have hair that has curls that uh, don't get weighed down easily, this would work for you, honestly. It's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's just too heavy. That's all. So this one will probably go to one of my neighbors or something. It's just way too heavy for my hair. And they have uh, upstairs, the people that annoy me to death but get like a lot of my hair care products, they have uh, type 4 hair. So this would actually work really well for them, probably. And then we have... The Eden Body Works Almond Marshmallow Split and Repair Mask. This is a really light, ma nice mask. Um, gonna hang on to it. I have five masks, six masks, seven masks open right now. So we will not be opening this, but I will be keeping it. It's a very nice mask to have. Lots of nice moisture and stuff in there. And then we have 
Now, this is one I want to try because uh, a couple of, one of the ladies that has hair, I would like to say is similar to mine. She has more coils, but her coils are loose the way mine are loose. Uh, she just has more defined coils than I do. Um, she used this in her hair and it apparently really worked really well as kind of a curl cream or something. This is the Eden Essentials Hydrate and Soothe Butter for Hair and Body. I, it sounds like it'll be heavy, but you know, I still want to give it a try as a curl cream or uh, something like that because I saw what it did to her hair and it was amazing. It was beautiful. She got shine. Um, Eden, you made it so I can't open things. Do you think they knew I couldn't open things? They preview most of these videos that go up for them. So they knew that I can't open things. <laughs> ah, open. Open says me. Give me a minute. All right. Get it open. Get it. Get the seal done and I still can't open it. All right. Ooh. So as you can see, it's a thick... Oh, 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 I hope you work for me. Oh, that's nice. That is nice for hand and, hand and hair and body, right? That's nice. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you better work for my hair. <laughs> and I'll be very upset. I don't use a lot of butters and stuff on my skin. Oh, that smells nice, though. Oh, 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 oh. What are your ingredients? Please, no. Probably has closer. Uh, so, what do we got here? We got uh, water, coconut oil, vegetable oil, aloe, leaf juice, acetyl, sterile, per se, avocado oil, ooh, acetyl esters, glycerol, something or other, stearith 20, castor seed oil, Fragrance is in the middle. That's interesting. It's kind of high up. Usually the fragrances are at the bottom and the scent is so light, you wouldn't assume that. Uh, honey, acai fruit extract, orange peel extract, lime fruit extract, quinoa, hydrolyzed quinoa, there's your protein, macro kelp extract, chia oil, Avocado oil, jojoba seed oil, grape seed oil, shea butter, tomato fruit ferment extract, rice extract, another pair, uh, a protein, keratin amino acids, another protein. Glycerin is at the bottom. Vitamin E, hydrolyzed silk. Wow, wow. Okay, I gotta get another smell. That just smells beautiful. That's just that smells beautiful. Ah, uh, I'm 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 excited about this. I want to really try that. I like I said, I saw one of the other girls in the group that I'm with. She put it on her hair, and her hair looked amazing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, even if it doesn't, I just might keep it anyway. It might convert me into a. Uh, uh, lotion type butter type user all right we got one or two more things we got two more things in here and the first thing is uh lemon lavender hand poured all natural soy small batch it's candle okay the lavender is a little strong for me I might end up giving that to my daughter. She loves candles and she doesn't mind lavender. I do. I don't I don't like lavender. I've noticed that I have a definite preference for not having lavender scents. So um, I might try it, burning it once and see how that does. But otherwise, it'll probably go to my daughter because she loves candles. And while this isn't fancy, it'll be it'll be neat. It will be something to add to her little collection. I wish lavender, lavender wasn't so strong. <laughs> Anyway, and I think this is the last item. Let me look. Let me make sure. Oh, we're shaking all the green stuff. Oh, I got a paper. <laughs> all right, so this is it. This is a taupe coat. That's funny. In Hot Mama. It's a nail polish. 
and now I can't open it. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Give it a quick shake. Anything settles. All right. I haven't been painting my nails again. I need to get back to it. Ooh, that is a pretty color. Okay, that is gorgeous. Look at that. That's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm looking forward to using that too. So we only got maybe two items, maybe three items in here that um, aren't usable by me for various reasons. Uh, probably two. Uh, one. <laughs> one and that's the pudding souffle everything else i'm going to give a try the candle is kind of questionable just because of the scent um but i have somebody it'll go to in the souffle i have somebody it'll go to so eden body works thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> i just spent 40 dollars on this stuff i don't mind having more and i'm really looking i'm you know what i'm going to go ahead and give this a try at night too and see if it does the same thing um obviously slightly minus the nutrients because this doesn't have the same stuff in it for the nutrition but I'm looking forward to that if only because it smells beautiful <laughs> and it is a lightweight spray so a lightweight spray it will actually work for my hair at night so that'll be cool cool um oh this is also another maybe but that's just because I'm not haven't been into bar soap so we'll see how that goes and uh everything else I'm I'm just this is great this is beautiful. It's your anniversary and you're giving us the gifts. Thank you and happy anniversary Eden Body Works. I really appreciate having been your ambassador. I have loved every minute of it because I love your stuff. I really do. And I look forward to seeing more in the future. I really do. Kind of hoping you'll do a glycerin free line. What do you say? Maybe? Just, okay, anyway. Anyway, so that is it for the day and I hope you like what you've seen. We're keeping this big box. I've got to keep the box. It's huge. Uh, but I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do like what you've seen, I hope you will subscribe. So much hoping going on over here. If you subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Currently, there are issues with that. I'm not getting um, notifications at all about uploads, unfortunately. Uh, however, hopefully YouTube will fix that soon. And so you want to have that clip so that you know when I upload. I currently upload two days a week, Monday and Thursday. But we do have bonus videos. I have way too many indie brand openings that come up as bonus videos. And I've just ordered the eighth indie brand on my 2020 list. If nothing else this year, I managed to get through my indie brand list, most of it. Uh, the last two... One of them is just a touch expensive for me for what I want to do with it. And the other one just doesn't have anything I want right now. So uh, if I end up not getting the last two, I'm not going to be too upset. So we'll be fine with it. Uh, but we do that and uh, that's going to be dying down soon too as well because things are going away. <laughs> Money is going away. But we also have my son open my geek box every month. You should have seen one before this one went on upload. And so there's those two. And if you send anything, you send it. You don't have to. But if you choose to send anything, those would get open as a bonus video as well. Unless you don't want to. So make sure to include some sort of note or something you know, put the box in another box, put a note on the box, join the Dami Tries This a Facebook group, which you'll find linked down below. And somehow just let me know that this is on its way, but you don't, please don't open it on the channel. I would rather not be embarrassed by it being opened on the channel. I don't know why. Anyway. Uh, and hopefully next year we will go back to our garden videos, which we had to skip this year because the weather was just so insane. Not counting on it, however, because of events in the world, you know. At any rate, so if you're interested in any of those, you will have to have that notification bell click just to know when they go up because they do not go up on regular upload days. If you're part of my notification squad, you'll want to check both your bell and your subscription to make sure they're both still active. Like I said, just check. It takes a second. YouTube is having issues. 
hopefully they'll fix it and then it'll be worth it for you. Hopefully. It only takes a second. Just check it. At any rate, if you choose not to subscribe, well, I would be disappointed and sad, but I would also understand just a little bit. Um, old dragon. Lots of YouTubers. I'm not always bright and sparkly. I'm not funny. But I'm honest. I'll tell you that much. However, if you still don't want to subscribe, I would understand. But you're always welcome back here because we love having the company. And when you do come back again, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. All right, so we have sat here, no matter what the editing time finally comes down to, we have sat here for about 40 minutes. This tea had better have full strength at this point. And I can't taste the berries and all the other stuff, then I don't know what to tell you. It'd be really disappointing because I've liked most of the puka teas I've tried. Not all of them, I don't think, but most of them. All right, let's give her a sip and then we'll be on our way. Okay, I'm getting ginger. I think I'm getting the licorice. And I don't like it. I think it overpowers the fruitiness of the tea. Um, yeah, I'm not impressed. This is not a tea I would repurchase. I will probably give the rest of this to my daughter and see if she likes it. And if not, my son will like it. He likes almost any tea we give him. But it's not a tea I would rebuy. It, the, the licorice root and the ginger are just too strong for the berries that are in there. I, I, I miss the fruity flavor that we had at the very beginning. At any rate, that's it. Hope you have a good one.